Hello, hello, and welcome back to Geneforge, picking up straight where we left off, which uh, I forgot I was in Vakiri. I, I thought we'd actually gone to the area, but yes, yeah, so we'll get straight into it. Uh, hopefully we can get to Pentil today. That's basically the plan, so... Oh, can we... Yeah, we can go there, right? Okay, I didn't know if it would go from the one before it, because it was still red. But I guess not. Uh, but yeah, depending on if there's a place in between or not, I'm assuming this probably will connect there. Uh, but yeah, the goal for today is basically just going to be get to... <laughs> basically just going to be to get to Pentil. Oof, that's not a good sign for uh, having to read things. Ooh. After long hours winding your way through narrow barren, <laughs> barren valleys, you find an empty encampment. The feet of many serviles have worn a path. They used to carry goods along this route. Nobody has been through for months, though. The path ahead leads to heavy stone doors. The entrance of an underground complex is visible in the distance. Serviles used to pass through it. Then they stopped. You wonder why. Hmm, okay... Are we going to be going that way? Oh, I guess that's... Hmm. Uh, anything to grab there? No? Guess we'll uh, take a look. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can get to Pentil today. I think that would be good. And uh, he can earn a name, hopefully. Uh, I'm not actually sure how to pronounce the actual creature name. I don't know if it's like Thard or Thad or... Hmm. Thard? Thad? I'm not too sure. Anyway. Can we open that? Yes, we can. Ooh, what the hell are they? Okay, let's go this way first. I don't know if they're an enemy or just a weird... I don't know what you call it. Twitch and gooey looking thing. Let's uh, check here first. And anything in here? It's good. Wait, do we... Oh, misclicked. And what about you? Ooh, I'll take you. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Um, yeah, I'm just going to kick back and see how we go. I haven't, I don't have as much time as I would like. Um, it's already pretty late. I sort of, the night just sort of dragged on. I was hoping to actually do like two hours or so um, to be able to do two videos worth, but I don't think that's going to happen now. I think it's about it's getting close to 3 a.m. I think so. Because uh, I didn't actually get a chance to play yesterday. But, um, you know, is what it is. I'll uh, hopefully have more time tomorrow. I'd really like to, you know, settle in for a night and do like three or four hours, but, you know, don't always have the time for these things. Anyway, this was once a massive shaper supply depot. Not much of value remains. Grubby, scavenging serviles have been through here many times. However, your interest is most captured by the things on the ground. With a sinking heart, you recognize the puffy mushroom-like creations on the floor ahead. These creations are called mines, and they are very simple. When shapers get close to them, they detect your essence. Then they explode. What? Why, why would shapers make those? Why? Okay. The specimens near your feet are small. They would likely do little damage. The mines farther in, though, are large and healthy. If you get near one, the burst would likely be fatal. Shaper mines are unstable and have limited lifespans. These mines must have been created very recently. But by who? Some regions of gene forwards can only be passed by using higher mechanics or leadership shield. You may not be able to get through here right now. Oh, okay. I don't know what would be considered high in that case. Um, I don't know how that works. Might have to experiment a tad to see what happens. Ah, oh, that's too bad. What have we got in here? Uh, thorns, I guess we'll grab them. What's this do? This device is what is known as a spore switch. When the handle at the top is twisted in just the right way, it releases spores into the air. When twisted back, it releases a different type of spore. Uh, using one of these devices can have unpredictable results. The spores are generally shaped to have some sort of effect on nearby shaper creations. Shapers use these devices as control mechanisms for their simpler, dumber creations, like, say, mines or turrets. To flip the switch, use this object again. Um, I guess the obvious thing is it's going to deal with them, but it could also have something else happen. Uh, right, that's just explaining mines, so I'm going to check that. Um, hmm, yeah, I don't know what the leadership or mechanics stuff is, like, because that doesn't really mention anything about that, like, it's only got about the conversation and stuff. That one makes a bit more sense. Uh, I guess we'll just flip it. <laughs> Why not? Okay. I don't know what actually just happened. Anything? I mean, I guess we have to go this way, right? Although, I guess technically not, because it did mention that you can get to Pentil through Watch Hill, which... 
Oh. Hmm, I guess this is technically through what chill or I don't know, I'm pretty sure there's a second path there though. I can't quite recall exactly what it was. Um Do we wanna just try and step close? Like what are we Is there I yeah, I, I don't really Do I have any sort of like should we shoot that? Is that a thing? No? Uh alright, do we use that one? I don't know if we did. Oh no, because it looks like uh, same position now, so. That. No, there was nothing up here, was there? Uh, I guess we'll just get close. Can we just run over there? Okay, nothing happened. Let's have a look here. Another dead servile. Take your money. Thank you very much. Take that for sure. Uh, I mean, should we just run past? I don't know what else we can really do. I don't know if we disabled them or if, you know, maybe if you have a certain mechanic or leadership skill, they just don't go off. Like, I, I just don't know how exactly how the mechanics work. This is a little concerning though. What what exactly was being kept here? Oh, and also, yeah, they, they said these were created recently. It didn't click that much to me, but that means one of the servos, like practicing shaper magic or other, like, I guess it's possible there are other shapers on this island, like the whole thing is that they haven't been here, but just because, you know, no servile has seen them doesn't mean there's not some here. I mean, we're here after all, so, hmm, probably something to keep in mind. I don't know what, I don't know what this area, like, what's it called? Yeah, I guess it's so, is this underground then? Because this is like grassy here, so I don't know if that's meant to be like a valley and then this goes underneath, I guess. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Alright, something like that. <laughs> anyway. And... Yeah, that's fine. I think we want to pick pretty much all of them if we can. So that may be worth getting the mechanics up for because there's been... I think I, I can recall at least three different ones that have had canisters behind them. Let's do that. Quite a few levers in this area. <laughs> okay. You reach one of the main warehouses. The shapers were, unfortunately, very thorough gathering goods before their departure. Most of the best supplies have been taken. You doubt that the serviles have been here yet, though. If they had, everything of value would have been scavenged. There aren't supplies, but there are guards. Someone has grown fresh turrets in this room recently. Grown? It's not what you normally hear for turrets. Uh, you've seen many turrets in your lifetime. Shapers place them all over the place so they can guard things that want, they want guarded. Since you spent so much time around them without ever feeling the least bit threatened, you are surprised beyond belief when the turrets turn their thorny stalks toward you. Ooh. I guess we, yeah, do we have to, okay, we do have to actually fight them then. Okay. Yeah, that's a, uh, there seems to be quite a lot to shapers. Like, they don't, like, I mean, the whole living tools and weaponry and, like, it, it goes a lot far beyond, you know, actually creatures, like... So shape of magic's getting like it's pretty crazy. Like you know, it's it's uh we really don't know the extent of what it can do at this point. Like it, I mean, it seems like there's very little it can't do. In fact, so yeah, it's gonna be um interesting because it seems like this game's gonna be set on this island. So I wonder if um like how the others are set up. Like because this is obviously really interesting. But we won't be sort of learning anything of the larger shape of world and like, you know, like what kind of error this is, I guess you'd say. Like, yeah, I, I really don't know how technologically advanced, like is it sort of Middle Ages-ish? Like how, you know? Hmm, should be quite curious. I mean, I am quite curious, it should be in quite interesting. Oof, words. Uh, but yeah, there's a uh, there's more than I realised we're here. This um this might get a tad dicey. I don't know how far they can actually shoot. Um, can we hit from there? Yeah, it looks like we can. That's something. But if they all go at him, Pinky might actually have some trouble. Um, can you get there for me? Oh, probably should have went that way. Oh shit! No! Oh, Pinky, Pinky the second, you are oh. This is going to be a dicey battle, isn't it? 
I think I was taking it a bit too casual. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going the harder way towards Pentil. I don't recall exactly what the details were, but I'm pretty sure this was the harder way, so... Eey. Um... I mean, there's not much we can do other than, yeah, attack, is it? Like, I'm just trying to think of a way to actually save Pinky here. But I don't know if we can. The most we can walk is to there. Uh, maybe there. Ah, oh, no, that would use up everything. We need seven. Because I'm thinking about the spores, but... I don't think we can get close enough for it to be helpful. Oof, man, we might lose them both in this fight. Yeah, this, I don't, uh, we, it'd be good to know how many squares that actually can... Um, like, because it just says nearby. Uh, yeah, and no, we're going to have to just go for an attack. Ah, oh, that was wasted. That's too bad. Oh, you're not doing well. Can you at least get an attack in? Is that going to be your final... Ooh! I guess that works. Oh, poison though. Ah, man. We could save him if it wasn't for that. Hmm, this is going to... Ah, man. Pinky the second. Oh, and Thad. Ah. Ooh, okay. I should be worrying about myself. Fortunately, there's a static. I think we're going to have to retreat, aren't we? Yeah, like, yeah, we're going to have to retreat. That's the only smart move at this point. Because if they hit... Yeah, fuck, all right. <laughs> Should be taken a little, little bit more seriously, it would seem. Uh, yeah, just retreat. I don't know if they can shoot us from there, but... Is it me again? Okay, get around the corner. Can we... I don't know how far you got to be away to actually end combat. Oh, wormy. Damn. This was not a good fight to walk into. Alright, let's go. We're out. Oh, well, Larry, you survived. Sort of. Oh, man. That was pretty brutal, eh? Ah, uh, cool. Alright, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I did not take that fight anywhere near as serious as I should have. And I think we're going to have to go back to Vakiri. Yeah. Which, um, hopefully things don't respawn. But either, I mean, we're going to have to go back. There's really no way around it. Uh, yeah, wow. All right, that was sort of sort of stepped up the difficulty there. It's been pretty casual um, through most of the fights so far, but that, not so much. Um, I think we'll just bring everyone back. Uh, Thad, like, I want Thad. As I'm, I'm, maybe I should just name him Thad. Like, T-H-A-D. Earned his name in death. Um... I want to bring him back, but I don't know if I should immediately. I don't know if it's worth having that little bit of spare essence or even upgrading a couple. Um, oh, right. Can we... Oh, no. Already using him. All right. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get Pinky back. Uh, Pinky the third, unfortunately. Um, yeah, that, that's really unfortunate, especially after last time sort of deciding, wanting to actually sort of take care of them the best we can. But, you know, it's also going to be part of it, like... We need to survive in the end. We'll do the best we can for them, but... And we'll get Wormy back again, because pretty great with the poison, I would say. Oh, is that, I think that's why I did the skull thing, wasn't it? Because, I, yeah, I, um, I wondered about that last time. Oh, perfect control level, interesting. All right, Wormy the second. Ah. Rip Pinky the sec... Oops. Oh, I was, uh, yeah, I've got that auto hotkey script going, so... The AWFC is down on the arrow keys. Threw me off a little there. Uh, but yes, Rip, uh, Wormy the first, uh, Pinky the second, and Thad the first. <laughs> Alright. So that's that. So what are they now? Weak, adequate, strong. Okay. So that's going to knock them all back if we get Thad again. Uh, how much energy do we have? Could have seen then, I think. Uh, eight. So, I think it might be worth upgrading... Wait, how much does it cost? Um, oh, essence per upgrade, right? 332. Oh! So, we could do one upgrade each to these guys. I think we might go with that. Um, that'll have to return later, I think. I'm not sure if it's the best option, but... 
Um, do we want to give them more health? Um, increase missile damage per 5%, gives 2% chance of evading attacks. Yeah. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to bulk up their health. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if this is necessarily the best way, but although that one's quite good, isn't it? 30% there is no all damage and hostile. Yeah, actually let's go with that. That's really quite good. Um, now does that change? Okay. So that, yeah, that does impact because I guess, because their level goes up. Hmm. I think that's still okay. All right, Wormy the second, Pinky the third, Larry, you did well. And let's fix our setup back like that. And yeah, that'll have to return in the future, I guess. Ah, that was too bad. But that was also, yeah, tough. Um, I don't know if we would have been better off going the other way. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll keep going this way now that we've started it, but I'm just, uh, I don't know if in general it would have been better to go that way. Um, yeah, that order's fine. Um, Tempted to put Wormy behind us, but no, I guess that's actually one thing. I don't know what the consequences for death in this game are, now that I think about it. Um, do a quick save, and I'm awkwardly alt-tabbing really quickly. I assume I just wanted to make sure OBS didn't pause. Like, I, I unbound the key, as I mentioned, but in case it reset or something silly. But it looks like we're all good there. And head back. Um, yeah, I because it it looks like there wouldn't be another one between here, unless it's like really close, I guess. But this one seems like there would be. So I don't know. Maybe it's like this is a shorter path, but it's a lot more difficult. Which I uh, would, you know, that makes sense. Oh, did everything reset? I mean, I guess it. I don't know. I sort of wasn't expecting those to be reset like that. Okay, can we? That looks pulled still, right? Or... Okay. Can we... Okay, it just keeps doing it. Alright. Uh... Are they... They look active. Let's try that again. Maybe, the, yeah, they were already shut off then. Okay, so the, when they're active, they do have those little flashy things. Okay, that, that would probably be good to remember. And I guess we'll, we probably will have to go that way, but let's check down here first. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do, because I want to explore everywhere. Just, um, they, yeah, that really got quite dicey. Um, the fact that they can't move certainly helped in terms of getting away, but yeah. Uh, what about these ones? Are they... They don't appear to be active. Let's grab some loot. Thank you and sorry. Um, let's just go... This must be just a little room or... Um, yeah, I guess so. May as well. Oh, okay. I wonder what that does. Did that... Well, no, they were already off, so I don't know if maybe there's some more down here. Hopefully we just turned them off. Oh, we're back uh, outside again. Interesting. I guess you can probably get down here from that way then. And... Oh, alright. Let's, uh, we're not going to leave, but let's check what this does. Is that... Oh! I guess those connect as well. Oh. Huh. Alright, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. I assume there's another exit somewhere in this area. Still haven't actually confirmed what those do, I don't think, have we? I mean, they don't seem to actually do anything, but I mean, I don't know if it's been... Hmm, I can't remember if there was anything actually explaining what those were. Not a big deal. Just, uh, can't remember. <laughs> this probably did come up in the demo and I just can't remember. Oh, we're getting a bit short on these, aren't we? Okay, another one of those. Not actually sure what I'm turning off, but I assume probably those. Uh, anything we want to loot here? Shaper experiment. I'm sure that's junk, but I want to loot it anyway. Got some thorns. 
some more thorns. Let's grab the shaper equipment. Again, I know we don't need it, but uh, there's a lantern that's probably worth grabbing. And yes, it looks like these are all off, so that's good. Ooh, we have some... You find the body of a servile guard. He was trapped in here. Couldn't find a way past the mines and starved to death. Ooh, brutal. I didn't even notice him there. Thank you and sorry. <laughs> is this uh, going to be another one we have to pick? Yeah, it is. Um... Hmm. I don't like leaving areas unexplored, but we're going to be stuck. I guess we'll have to explore all we can without doing that, so then we can make a judgment call. Because we may have to actually come back later to finish clearing the area, if that's the case. Which is a little unfortunate, you know, I like to get things all cleared off in the map. Uh, anything on the ground here? Not really. And let me guess, yep. <laughs> Leave it alone. Or right, this one. Leave it alone. Alright. So that's at least three living tools we're going to need. I wonder how, like, if there's a good way to get them at all, like... Are we just sort of limited by what we find in the world and when shops restock or, you know? Uh, which would actually be a good thing to check. I think after we clear this area, but I don't want to reset again in case, you know, and there's anything more reset than I realize. But I think we'll head back to El Haraz Keep after we clear out here and see if there's been a restock because we definitely want to collect up as many spores as we can uh, as soon as we can. Um, uh, let's just get a bit, yeah, let's put those in the junk bag at least. Um, but yeah, we don't want to sort of waste any time. What's happening? Oh, right, you got to click, right? <laughs> it's only been a couple days and I'm already forgetting things. That in there, that in there. Um, but yeah, we don't want to sort of waste any in-game time if it's, um, you know, like, I really don't know how that'll work. It could be like an hour in-game and stock, stock resets. It could be, you know, um, you travel enough, you know, you, a certain amount of times, then it restocks, you know. You never know how it's going to be set up until you actually confirm or check, I should say. Because I don't think it's, it hasn't been that long since we were last there, like in-game time. So if it has reset when we get there, we'll have to check back pretty often, I think. Or at least after every area, maybe, or... I don't know. I mean, we'll see when we get there. Just uh, don't want to miss out on any spores, because they're limited. And if they... I think one of them had a living tool, didn't they? Just trying to fix the map there. Um, so if one of them had a living tool, that's also a thing we're certainly going to need. Uh, I guess technically not need. It's more just I don't like leaving areas unfinished. Is this a... Uh, no? Looks like the kind of wall that would drop out or something. Oh, did this... Wait, did that... Oh. That must have actually reset because of that. Eh. Right. Okay. I guess it doesn't actually... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does matter actually. Um, can we turn them off with this one? Is this like... Maybe? I feel like maybe it would. Because that would make sense somewhat. Yes? Okay, very nice. And now we're going this way, which I'm going to do a save. Not that I plan on save scumming. It's, I don't know. just feels right. <laughs> I don't know what that one's for. Oh, that's probably just for this door, right? Okay. All right, so... I guess this leads off there or there must be the way you exit. It's, oh, did we try this one? Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, all right. Let's just let's just do it. Oh, I don't know what that would be for. Hmm, probably wasn't worth it. I mean, we had to use it on something, and I don't imagine it's gated. Oh, that. Oh my God, are you serious? Ah oh, man, you're telling me we could have saved Wormy the sec, uh, Wormy the first, and Binky the second, and Thad the first. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Lesson learned, though. Okay, got another one of them. Yeah, so we'll have to remember that for the future to actually look around properly. Okay, another one of them. That's good. Because I think, yeah, so we need three at least so far to clear over there if we want to. Um, oh, I can't believe that. That's that's, uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, the lever is locked in this position. You don't have the key. And you don't have enough living tools. Oh, okay, need three for that one. Ooh, could that be something fancy? 
Or is it big? Oh. Okay, wasn't... Oh, alright. Uh, what is that do? Oh, no thanks. What? Seriously? I... I mean, re... <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Uh, that's, um... Awkward. I didn't expect that to turn them... I mean, it, really? Ah, man. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, what? can I get them all in here? Like, will that... that be enough to break combat? Uh, sort of walking in circles here. I don't know if I, if I get them all in here, they won't be able to get hit. Yes? Oh. There we go. Alright. Ah, oh, that was... I was really not expecting that, like... Okay, good. It was weird. Those two was showing neutral. I don't know if it... Yeah, I don't, okay. <laughs> anyway. Never touching that again. And... Uh, this lever is held by locked chains and you don't have the key. However, you could attempt to use living tools to open it. Is that... Um, we might do that, but um, I was thinking... Uh, actually, I probably... Oh, wait. Can we not proceed forward? Wait, can we just... Okay, that one. Oh... Hello. <laughs> uh, why don't we go back this way? Yes, be good. Go that way. Let it close. I'm assuming we can disable them in there. I was going to say, um, I don't know if it's just, just, you know, typical wording for these things to say that, but it mentions a key and it did on that too. So does that mean there is a key? I haven't been paying attention to all the different ones if it actually said that. Is that, yeah, hmm, something to keep in mind, but anyway, we will pick the lock. Oh, okay, let's go, oh, it's one of the, um, oh, what are they called, something mind? I can't think what it is. Something mind. <laughs> this is the hall of records for this supply depot, where goods are checked in and requisitioning. These mental jobs were handled by the servant mine. Ah, servant mine, that's it. Not surprisingly, this depot servant mine was left behind. You see it to the north, it is still alive. Oh, we got some books, got some cases. Let's check these real quick. Yeah, servant mine, that's, uh, I can't believe I forgot that. This case contains dozens of ceramic jars. Most of them are broken, one is still intact. It is full of thick brown liquid. It is a nutrient solution used to revive aging servant mines. This could be very useful. You keep it. Oh, okay. We're going to have to use it on this guy or for someone else. The case contained office supplies. The pens and paper have crumbled. A small iron key hangs from the peg in the back. You pocket it. Ooh. I wonder. All right, let's check these. These thick books contain a detailed ledger of supplies which have passed through here. You find one interesting thing. The dates indicate that this complex was abandoned almost exactly 200 years ago. You find no records of shapers placing mines or turrets. They were only placed here after the shapers left. Hmm. Thick, these thick books contain... Oh, it's the same. Oh, no. These thick books contain a detailed ledger of supplies which have passed through. One entry notes that there were three augmentation cannons stored there. Someone scrolled by the entry pen in pen leave behind. Okay, so is there three of the canisters here we haven't found yet? It's interesting. Um, you find no records of shapers placing mines. Okay, same thing as the other one. And same as the other one. Alright, before we talk to the servant mine, let's uh, save again. Uh, yeah, let, let's, um, let's see if we can open this door with the key. Because that may or may not answer my question. Because uh, it may still be that... Um, not all, I mean, they may still all say key, and I just didn't realize. Oh, all right. Got some weird cylinder things. We have a couple of living tools, which is nice. Uh, grab those. And we have one of these. Very nice. Heal heals the damage taken by a single character. Each extra point. Wait, is that? I thought we already, what is that called? Okay. Heals the damage taken by a single character. Why does that read funny? Heals the damage taken by... Does that mean it fully heals? Or does it, like, heal the damage at the last move? Or... 
I'm not too sure on that. And okay, that is heal. So oh, when you touch Yeah, that's um How does that work then? So did this just um, go up a rank or something? I thought it must have been different, but um not see it doesn't indicate it. Maybe I don't know, was that wasted? Like is that I mean, where do we... This is what I ran into last time. I couldn't remember where to actually find that. Or does it not come up unless you have things to spend? Ah, I couldn't remember. Yeah, last time we, <laughs> I got stuck on where to actually see the spell tree thing. I don't know if you can view it. Like, am, am I just forgetting? Maybe you can only do it when the... Oh, okay, so it, yeah, okay, so that has gone up to two now. Okay, I don't know what it was like before in terms of how much better it got, but okay, so I guess it doesn't get wasted then, even if we have that. Hmm, all right. And yeah, the, I guess these are showing our different things, but I thought that there was a more of a graphical one. I, am I mixing up with Queen's Wish again? <laughs> that is actually possible. Hmm, well, nonetheless. That's cool. Uh, and I guess there's two more around here somewhere. Must be... Uh, there's three there. How many living tools do we have now? Oh, we only have three. I thought we had uh, a couple more than that now. No matter. Um, we'll talk to the servant mind and then... Oh. Right. Uh, you know, with where... I was just thinking, with where these are, it might be one of those that actually has the thing to disable them in there. So I guess, yeah, we'll talk to the servant mine, then we'll head back around to there. And save, just in case I screw up the conversation. Uh, not to save's coming away, I just mean if I miss something. Hello, you approach the servant mine. Oh, we've got an achievement, Traps 101. Okay, I don't know why that was at the servant mine, but it works. You approach the servant mine, it is still alive and functioning. In fact, it is so alert that it might have been fed recently. Oh, when it sees you, it is confused. Welcome, Shaper. I am surprised to see you, and pleased. I had thought there would be no more Shapers. I am Servant Mind Pack. Um, that thing we got at the bookcase over there, I wonder if we can take that one of the other ones we found. Because I'm pretty sure there was one that was nearly dead or something. I don't remember if anything come, would come of that. Uh, but anyway, what is your purpose here? I was the quartermaster for this facility. Most of my mind was formed to store vast amounts of information. My skills were put to use, use remembering all that was here, all that was being mixed and repaired and all that was removed. Hmm, okay. What supplies here might be useful to me? Oh, many, many things, Shaper. I can equip you with many powerful items. Pack starts to list weaponry, rations, and so on. Oh? However, it is soon clear that his information is out of date. Oh, <laughs> he has not been told that practically everything here has been looted. Eventually, you tell him to stop his rec recitation. Recitation? Hmm. I could use a boat. I am sorry, Shaper. A boat would not fit in this complex. Try looking at the main docks. They are, they are to the southwest. No doubt is referring to the place where you swam ashore. Yeah, not so helpful there. Do you know why the Shapers left here? No Shaper, I am so sorry. Hmm. They left a lot of strange device behind. Yes, I don't know where, what they are. We mixed essence and other substances here. Then they were taken away. I don't know what was made with them. Hmm, okay. Why were mines a terrible place here? Pack looks uncomfortable. Its tiny, useless limbs flop around worriedly. Oh? There was one who came here with guards. A human. He said he was an envoy from the Shapers. He said that I must place defences to protect all of our supplies. I did so. Please, please forgive me if that was against the true will of the Shapers. Okay, he said a human. He didn't say servile. Hmm. Uh, I do want to say that, but I am more curious about that. Oh, so I guess he may... Let's, let's see this first, though. He was no Shaper, but he said he was. I am so sorry, Shaper. I am only good for remembering, not analysing personal character. He had two guards with him, well armed. One of them said his name, and he seemed angry. Oh, okay. What happened to these people? They placed the mines somehow. I didn't see them do it. I was here. Then they left and didn't return. What was the name? I am sorry, Shaper. He ordered me to forget the name. I couldn't. I had already stored it, so he ordered me never to retrieve it. Well... As a shaper, I outrank all non 
As a shaper, I outrank all non-shapers. I command you to ignore all what's given by the non-shapers. Tell me the name. I mean, that makes sense. I'm just concerned the ignore all, like, I don't know if there was another order. No, I think that makes sense in this case. Pat thinks about it. Processing your logic is difficult with a simple creature. I can't let you affect protected memories, but I can let you affect orders. So all such orders are forgotten. Now, what did you want? Oh yes, the name. The name of the human who commanded me was Trak Trajkov. Let's record that. Very interesting. You make a note of it. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. Uh, Trajkov. Hmm. I have another question. Uh, yes, I'm just wondering. Yeah, the shavers do not want these things here. Deactivate them immediately. Pat closes his eyes for a moment and then opens them. It is done, Shaper. The paths are clear. Thank you. And... Oh, okay, there's another option. What's the name? Trashkov. Trashkov? I think, yeah, Trashkov. Yeah, Shaper, it was. Okay. That's all for now. Alright. Oh, we got some XP there. Very nice. How are we doing on the way to a level? Oh! Do we just level up then? Wait, really? I I thought we still had, like, quite a lot of X... Oh, is that total XP? I was reading this as EXP... Oh, okay, so that makes that makes more sense. So we actually got a chunk of XP, relatively speaking, then. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, right, what did we decide on last time? I think I wanted to put one into Essence Mastery, for sure. Yeah. Um, wait, how much... Alright, how much does that give us? 39... 46. Okay. And what else is changing? Nothing? Hmm, that's not bad. Okay. And... Seven left. Do we want to put one each in these? Oh, I was looking at those. The cost is that. Okay. Um, we can't do another one of them without... Yeah, uh... Yeah, I think we might do one each in them anyway. I think that'd be good. Uh, we could do two in leadership. Which is tempting. I, I wouldn't mind getting that up. I don't know what else this does though. Like, enables you to use fewer living tools to open locks. That, and that's cool. But I don't know how much we need that. Like, we've already boosted it um, a couple of times. We could also go with these. Oh, that's tempting. I think I'm going to go with leadership, though. I'm going to put one more into this, I think, because that's one I've wanted to boost, especially because increase the number of options in conversation. Like, because I love the, you know, that side of this. So, as much as I would like to get other things, I think we're going to go one more in that. Because I mean, that's got us at six. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty up there. So that's good. And yeah, I guess we're uh, we can head off. I guess it doesn't matter which direction we go either. And hopefully those are all unlocked, because that'd be nice. And yes, looks like we're all good here. Lucky we, uh... Ooh. I don't trust that. Hmm, he's already disabled stuff, so... Alright, I think I'll leave that for the second. Uh, oh, got a living tool down here, very nice. Can we reach that? Okay, apparently we can. Yeah, they did grab it. Oh, very nice. More living tools. More crystal thingies. Healing pod. We'll take it. And what have we got here? Oh, another one of those. I'm going to assume that is to disable, or... I assume... I don't know if it would work now or not, but I don't want to risk it. And this is... Oh, that connects back to here. Oh, okay. Well, that's easier. Oh, yeah, and it's using the key. Uh, I guess we should check this one first, probably. Yeah, I don't think I'll touch that. <laughs> ah, man, we, if we went that way first, we probably would have saved a few more living tools, too. We've got six of them again, so that's something. Oh, and another one. Very nice. Another pod. It's good. And yes, we have another canister. Very nice. And that stood out there. None of them worth grabbing. Oh, living tool again. Very nice. All right, what do we got? Mechanics. Oh, really? So that just boosts our mechanics. Ah, 
Nice. Very nice. No, I didn't. I don't know if we've got. It. No, I don't think we have. I mean, on, I would prefer skills in a lot of ways, but no, that's uh, that's pretty nice. Now I don't regret going leadership at all. Then, awesome. Uh, I think we our next level we might put one into and yeah we might put actually one more into mechanics and then one in essence. And well, I do want to get back to these two, but I, I just I, I want to go as high as I can within reason. But you know, and I just feel like it's better to do these now because I just assume you know the difficulty will scale to a degree over the game so it would be better to get these ahead um, and deal with the early game with lesser combat stats and then we can build them up you know uh, but I may just do like next level one and one and then the next one after that uh, upgrade a couple of these or I guess we'll just have to see how quick we gain levels you know you know, but anyway I think we're all clear there and I think it's just these two left, right? I think we've pretty much gone everywhere else. Um, yeah, we've got eight living tools now, so that's nice. And we shouldn't have to use any here, I, I'm assuming. I assume the key's gonna open them all. Yep, very nice. Okay, didn't need that one. Oh, alright. Good little camp area here. You have something exit east. <laughs> Okay, nothing there. I assume there's going to be another room here somewhere. I'd reference three canisters, but we've only found two so far. Oh. Uh, okay. Another living tool. I'll take it. Did we miss somewhere? Um, we did only get two canisters, right? I'm not somehow forgetting one in a really, really short amount of time. It was just the heal one and the mechanics, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, what are we... Did we miss somewhere? I'm not seeing anything. Uh, looking at the map... Oh! Do, oh, right! Oh my god, we did miss here. Wow, that was probably really obvious to someone. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Uh, Let's get back there. Wow, I can't believe that. Yeah, on here. It's, uh, I gotta remember to actually hover over it, like, because you can see it better there. I mean, that still sort of blends in nicely at the center, but in hindsight, it's very obvious. And you look to be disabled. Good, good. I'm just assuming that it's gonna be a canister here. Another living tool. Iron sword. Oh, okay. We have some flowers. Why not? Some very dirty looking sacks phrasing <laughs> uh we got oh yeah we do very nice very nice and they look like the essence pools that have dried up or something and what do we got crate thad oh so will this just upgrade it so oh yeah okay nice so does that mean you've gone up a level or what's the deal is there anything I didn't? Uh, I don't like. I assume Pinky falls under. Like, oh, we don't have enough essence. Um, yeah, well, it wouldn't just be the normal one, would it? No, because volatile is not listed here. Different. So, was it actually each extra point of this skill increases the level of these creations? So, is that just? Does it just literally give one extra level, or which is still not a bad thing? Um. Yeah, either way, that's good. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't, I guess it makes sense. I just sort of didn't realize we'd be getting canisters to upgrade things. I just thought everything would be sort of unique. Not that it matters, I guess. It, um, it probably just means there'll be more canisters in the game than I expected. Um, but it's a cool way to do it. Like, I like it. Um, yeah, also with these though, I think um, after this experience here, it may be the way to go that whenever we go to a new area, we may want to explore it as much as possible. Um, well, then with <laughs> God words, um, explore it as much as possible without using any of these in case there's a key. Um, but we'll also want to try and pay attention to see if that reference is a key or not, because maybe if they do or don't, it'll indicate. 
but yeah, we even though we've ended up with 10, which is nice, we could have saved a few. Um, though, to, to, on the other side of that, to be fair, if we had used the one here and did that, we would have saved Pinky the second, Wormy the first, and Thad the first, so... Yeah, and also, I think I'm just going to name him Thad. It's going to be T-H-A-D, and that's going to be his name. I kind of like it. It feels chunky and tough. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, let's see if this actually gets us to Pentil. Which... Oh, Pentil Plains. Oh, there really was a... I wasn't quite expecting there would be. Okay. I guess we'll take a... Take a little mosey around. This wide valley is surprisingly sunny and pleasant. It is dotted with separate, carefully marked plots of land. These produce vegetables which are stable for the servile diet. However, the arrival of rogues has not been kind to this area. The crops are clearly neglected and have, in places, been torn up by the invaders. No serviles work the fields. You hear the distant lowing of confused abandoned orcs. <laughs> okay. The village of Pentil is larger and more affluent than Vakiri. The smaller village to the west had far less cropland. Okay. Interesting, Pentil larger and more affluent. That's definitely of note. Hmm, okay. And yes, I guess there's some abandoned orcs here. <laughs> Uh, I think we can actually summon orcs at some point. Like, I don't know how much purpose they'll serve. Are they running towards us? Okay, no, just sort of randomly. Okay. We've got a... I guess, yeah, this is a quite a small area, isn't it? It's uh, quite fitting, though. I, I like it. Um, anything in here worth grabbing? Oops, that is not the key to press. Nope, all right. Oop. Go back out. Yeah, like, even those doors, like, I was mentioning about what shapers can and can't do, like, I mean, the, the shape of magic as it is, it seems powerful in more ways than one, like, because, I mean, with these orcs, I assume you can summon them and kill them for food, like, which is, uh, yeah, like, there, there's a lot to it. Uh, can we, like, talk to this guy? Nope. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Uncomprehending stare. Yeah, okay. Um... Creep along here, see what's going on. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay, mushrooms, sure, why not? Check the sign. Pentil East, Thorny Fen, Southwest, Rogue Waste, North. But where? Ooh, okay. So, Pentil is down here. Okay. Uh, is this actually an exit? Alright, let's uh, get the little map marker. Oh, okay, so that heads out that way as well. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to. Whoops. <laughs> Got to remember to actually uh, change the arrow direction back. I wonder what actually makes them go green. I wonder if it's just a certain amount of like, maybe a certain percentage of the map explored or something. Or maybe you have to connect the exits or, I don't know. Uh, it does seem like there's a few things we're gonna have to deal with here though. Nothing too crazy looking, so I think we should be okay. Although after that last place, I shouldn't say he'd be so cavalier about it. Oh, nice Pinky the third. That was quite the hit. And I don't know if we've aggroed that. Uh, apparently it doesn't matter. <laughs> Can we, ah, ooh, all right, there's a few things going on there. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to, oi, don't go poison and Larry, that's not cool. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a bit of a group, okay. Can we uh, fire off a shot? No, we cannot. Uh, yeah, let's take out the poisoners, I guess. Hmm, this might get a tad dicey. Uh, I got, um, what, five essence I can use, so that's something. can use those for heals, which is good. I think, th yeah, this is the, the one down of having only one tank here, is this can happen. Ooh, a couple of them ran off. That's, that's very nice. Um... Yeah, this is actually not... Yeah, this isn't a great situation, actually. Gonna have to be sort of careful here. Um, I'm I'm getting more mixed on these. Like, I feel like with tanks, we either need, like, two or three. Or all range is better, because... It seems like no matter... The, almost all the situations we run into... Um, Pinky can never get the first hit in. There is always a stage of having to go there. But also with something like this, the only way Pinky can do anything is to get up there. But then all of them are more likely to target him. So, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a bit of an awkward spot in that regard. Um, 
Right, that uses energy, doesn't it? Is that the default that we use? Okay, it is. Um, if we can use an a yeah, an area spell would actually be nice. Can we? Oh, we can't go. Oh no! Damn it! That was a right click. I didn't know right click casts. I was going to walk up slightly so that we could get the whole group. Um, yeah, go for it, Pinky. Give a good slap. That'll help. Ah, that's really unfortunate. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, man. Is there a... Uh, yeah, we can't really handle this, can we? We're going to have to retreat, I think, unfortunately. Which is... Uh, I don't know what to... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no way we can beat that many, is there? I don't think, like, uh... Like, I don't want to retreat if we don't have to, sort of thing. Like, I mean, obviously I want these guys to survive, I'm sticking to that, but even if we have to s go through a couple of them, I don't, I don't think there's any way we get through that many. Um, nah. Okay, uh... Should we retreat to that, maybe? Oh, uh, Pinky, I don't know if Pinky's going to be able to survive, but... We could heal... Oh, I don't think that's... I think Pinky can probably get around there, that it might be... Oh, let's hope. See how far he can walk. Get around... Oh, are you serious? Come on. Oh, man, really? Oh, Pinky the third, I don't think you're surviving this one. Oh, what do we do? Uh, Got to go down fighting, if anything, Pinky. No? Alright, smack him. What? Wait, can I not do anything? You, you don't... Yeah. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, Pinky, I love you, but man, it seems like the range just have benefits over... you. Like, I like the idea of having a tank, but it feels like there's just too much... Like, especially, for example, um, the Cryoa and Fioras. They have melee options that are quite good. Um, obviously, health of Lowry's winning. Although, what's the difference in level one? Um, but you know, having that the breath attack, it's. I'm just finding it hard to figure out a way where it's actually good to have these melee focus ones. Um, I guess if you have more essence and can really beef them out. Um, oh, that. That's probably. That's actually, yeah. We may have been better off going with that over health. Because that's the biggest problem I'm finding. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like literally can't attack, so... Um, yeah, it's, oh, okay, I guess that does... Uh, come on. No. Oh! Oh my god, wow. Pinky the third. That was quite awesome. Wow. Uh, we might be able to fight back a little bit. I don't know. I feel like we could. Because that's going to... Yeah. Oh, maybe we'll take a couple of them out. Depending on how they... Oh, we might be able to... Might be able to do a little bit here. Wasn't exactly expecting that. Wow, that was crazy. All right. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty awesome. Uh, well, can we use? Have we got any? Do we have an AOE attack? Mm, don't think so. We could daze all of them if that'll work. Okay, two of them got dazed. Oh, they can go over the fence. Damn it! I didn't think that was the case. All right, we need. Uh, I thought we might be a little bit better. We, I think we're going to have to retreat, though. Oh, yeah, he's not doing too well. Um, yeah, I think we've done the best we can. We're going to have to make a retreat. Yeah, that's... Uh, I think that's about all we can do. Uh, yeah, no, we're going to have to go. I, was, I want to try and heal Larry, but I don't think that would actually... Oh, damn. I thought it was Larry's turn next. Ah... Man, poor Larry. <laughs> okay, I think that so we travel gets us out. Oof, Wormy, you survived. Have some health. 
Wait me the second, doing well. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to make a quick trip to Vakiri and then come back there. Ah, man. It's not, we're not doing... Ooh, I went to the wrong place. Wait, whoop. Did not mean to come back here. Uh, wait, can we... Oh, can we... Oh, okay. I guess if they're red, you can't skip over them or something. Alright. Uh, get through here. Hopefully not get attacked by anything. Quick wormy. We've got to retreat. Uh, yeah, we're not doing too well on keeping our guys alive, eh? Um, ah, I'm really... I'm not sure about Pinky. I love Pinky, but, you know, I don't know if it's the best option for us. Ooh, hmm. Pinky the fourth may have to return later. Thad the second and Pinky the fourth, they're uh, living in limbo right now. <laughs> they exist, but they don't exist. Uh, yeah, that might be the way to go. Like, I really, I really want to use them because I think they're cool. But I'm, I'm finding it hard not to see these as the better option. Wormy's sticking around. I like Wormy. The poison's also a really nice benefit. Oh, we already got our stuff back. Okay. I guess you only have to return to town. Forgot about that. I didn't think Essence would come back though. Um, I guess while we're here, we can probably check the trading post for a restock too. But um, you're coming back, Larry. Appreciate you, Larry the second. Yeah. Oop. And I did that again. That's a uh, wrong key. <laughs> Using the arrows, Larry the second. And won't upgrade you just. Oh, whoops, wrong thing, I didn't, oh, I thought, oh yeah, that was, oh, okay, I guess, all right, <laughs> I thought that they already created, but then, you know, I was just exiting this menu, but, yeah, all right, anyway, and so, yeah, I feel like we're just going to go with a fior normal Fiora, and you're going to have to earn your name. You're, uh, you're no pinky, but maybe you can be something close. And I'm going to add these because I, I like to, for no real good reason. Thank you. And so how's there? Strong, adequate, strong. Oh, all right. We can definitely justify another one then. Um, yeah, I... Hmm. Should we go one more? I mean, we can also upgrade them. Well, even with... Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Is there anything... Cone attack. Leap to target. And do you have a cone attack? Is what you do. The cone attack would be... That would be nice to have, wouldn't it? Fast recovery. Okay, interesting. Um... Yeah, we might try beef these up before we go with another one. So I think we'll get the cone ability. Get the cone of ice. Get the uh, hardiness. Uh, did that save? I assume... They're both there. Uh, so we still got adequate, still got strong. Really? Is that updated? Okay, how much essence do we have left? Um... 14. Kind of want to get the uh, health of one as well. Um, that's probably... Yeah, we haven't tried that. This character is always acts faster as if hasted. Each attack has a chance of using fewer action points. Hasting this character makes it faster still. Um, is that worth it, do you think? Yeah, why not? We'll give it a shot. And then for you... Yeah, okay, so we still, still strong and adequate, alright. I think we can do the health upgrade on both of them as well. Uh, at the beginning of each turn, each foe takes some frost, oh, that's pretty cool. I think we'll definitely want the health first, but, so how does that put us? Okay, weak, adequate, and strong. Okay, the weak's unfortunate, but it's not a huge deal, I don't think. Um... Do we want to add... Oh, cone... Oh, alright, yeah, let's grab that. That's worth it for sure. The cone attack something we should have been paying more attention to. 
And what's that? Gives the creation one more level and more point of agility. Increased missile damage by 5%. Ooh, we could... Uh, how much essence do we have left? Five. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I think we'll keep that. That way we can have at least two heals. Yeah, I think that'd be good. And as for the order, I think Larry's going to be out front. Yeah. All right. I think that'd be good. You know, I really wish that the, um, the Fioras were uh, more red like that. Not that it looks bad like that. I just think it looks really cool. I like that these are like the blue. But um, yeah, because there's definitely a lot more red there to me than orange. But yes, no matter. Uh, anyway, before we head back, let's uh, take a quick look here. I think, I can't remember what this shop had. I feel like, I think it was at least one spore item. So that'll confirm if there's been a restock or not. Um, I mean, different things could even restock at different speeds, you know. Hard to say. Uh, I need some supplies. Yes, I do. And... Oh, that's in... Oh, because we don't have enough. I thought it was out of stock or something. Uh, no, it doesn't look like there's any spores. Or was that... I can't remember if it was the alchemist that had the spores or... I got, uh, yeah, I want to sell something. Let's get, um, oh, I thought we had some of them crystals to sell. Uh, we can get rid of those at least. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> Alright, let's check the alchemist real quick, because I, I really can't remember. Maybe it was. Yeah, my memory's not, <laughs> my memory's very selective. Uh, we, if there's no spore at either place, though... Oh, you know it is. Okay, good. My memory was questionable. I remember now, though. <laughs> uh, no spores. Okay, it doesn't look like there's been a restock. That's too bad. Because uh, we did clear a full area, and it's been... I th yeah, it would have been over an hour in game, so... I'm not really sure what triggers it, then. Could be three hours. Could be two. Could be other events. Uh... You never really know, I guess. Let's do a quick save, and we'll head back out with our new crew. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> Potential. Uh, I was just yeah thinking. I guess um, Pinky the Fourth and Thad the Second. Maybe they'll come back later. We'll have to see how things go. Um, I mean, when we have a much much larger essence pool, we can do up to six, obviously. So I don't know if that'll ever be the best option. Because I feel like even now, it would be really good to be able to afford um, both health upgrades on those two. And then things like that. Flash shield, like getting that. Um, like, yeah. This, all status is given by this creature will last. Oh, that one could be good. Since we're talking poison. Um, we may, yeah, I don't know. These guys may want some upgrades. And uh, got to see if Fiora earns his name. Not that I was the most creative with Thads, but... I think it also sort of fits with him. Because I think it's probably Thad. I mean, I don't know for sure. But uh, Thad sounds nice and beefy. As a, that's, that's what I think of when I hear that name anyway. So, uh, real chunky kind of guy. But, you know, muscly. It's like, ah, uh, oh, damn it. I really wish that was changed. You should be able to view that menu. I know I've said it before, but I shall say it again. Ooh. Several dead servos lost in recent combat have been placed here. The bodies have been stripped of weapons and carefully arranged. That's a little, uh, odd. And can we... no. None of them have any value. So I guess there's no point checking them. Oh! And you said that they were stripped clean. Stripped of weapons. Oh wait, is that what it said? Okay, I guess it didn't say stripped of armor. Alright. Uh, hello orcs. I guess we can probably kill them, not that we have much of a reason to. Although, I don't know if you can get anything good from them. Hmm. Hadn't really thought about that. <laughs> I guess I'll leave them for now. But I think we, yeah, I think we can actually learn to summon them at some point. Like, I don't, well, I can't imagine they're meant for actual combat use, but I, I am pretty sure that we can learn it somewhere. I don't know if it would be a canister or, well, I guess it's probably the only way we learn stuff, isn't it? So I would assume so. Um, anyway, let's uh, see what's going on down here. I uh, didn't see what that said, but let's check this stuff. 
Uh, this is a storeroom for seed and farming supplies. That makes sense. Oh, and some kashish. Thank you. Some living tools. Very good, very good. What are those? Hatchets. Don't need those. Uh, do we... Oh, I guess we didn't go down in here, right. I didn't actually uh, bother talking to this person. Who are you? Oh. What's a... Uh, guard servo? Oh, okay. You have returned. Are these uh, obeyers then, maybe? Alright. Uh, we will talk to them shortly. I just want to explore this area as much as we can first. And avoid that massive pack, hopefully. Uh, we do. It would be good to get revenge for Larry the First and Piggy the Third, but we'll see. If we, can, uh, if we can pick them off, that would be ideal. Try and keep our health up a little better. Ah, but yeah, man, I just... Ah, I feel like it's going to be hard to justify bringing back the Thads because I feel like the Fioras are the real winner here. Uh, I mean, we'll have to see as we gain more um, options, but I could imagine a pack of six of them being pretty beasty, especially if you had enough to upgrade them, because they can do all shoot off that breath attack. Anything gets close, they can chomp. Like, it, it seems like a real advantage. I mean, to be fair, the Thad with that leap ability, that may shorten the gap of that. Um, significantly, but, ooh, okay, still quite a few there. All right, let's uh, see what's what here. Um, I don't know if we're going to have to go that way or not. Wouldn't surprise me, but maybe there's a an alternative way. So, uh, what's going on down here? Another similar thing. Servo, several servo farmers lived in this moist chamber. From the looks of things, it has been abandoned for several months. And I can take whatever's left. That's what I'm hearing from that. And nothing really there. Anything on the ground? No, not really. I feel like we haven't been uh, doing too well on the old armor thing. Where it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> like we haven't found much uh, fancy stuff so far. I think it was actually worth buying that ring because, well, we haven't really needed coins for that many things. But uh, we haven't found much in the way of that kind of stuff. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, yeah, I thought this was just going to be like a little pass-through area, but we're actually taking a minute here. That's going to... Okay, ah, good, an example. The lever is held by lock change. You could use living tools. Yeah, so it doesn't reference a key. That is that is really good to know. And we have 12 of them, so why not? Oh, hello, hello, hello. Very nice. Cure affliction. Reduces the duration of all afflictions. All right, I think we already have that one. That's cure, yeah. So that's cool. No uh, big deal. We haven't really used it, but it's always good to get the canisters. And yes, nothing here. Anything lootable? Nope. All right, continuing on. Uh, I really would like to get to Pentil before the end of this. That's sort of uh, still the goal, and I think we probably can. Uh, but yes, it does seem like we have to deal with that situation. <laughs> but uh, let's, uh, let's talk to these guys before we do that. Hello. The demoralized servo warrior says that you should speak with Shesh. Sheesh? Chesh? He is sitting by the fire. I am Chesh. Yeah, Chesh, I guess. Alright. Um, have a look in your chest. Thank you. Um, anything else around? Guards. Just a little, uh, little bedroom. And I'll grab those. And see what Chesh is up to. This band of servals is exhausted and demoralized. Their leader does his best to appear confident, as his warriors are ready to break and flee at any moment. Though he's almost asleep on his feet, his energy returns when you approach. He puts his head he puts his hand on the pommels of his sword, drops to his knees and bows his head. I had not even dared to hope. I had heard the rumors, but I, I welcome you, Shaper. I place myself and my men at your disposal. I am Chesh, Blade of Pentel Pentil. He stands again. We are isolated, trapped and separated from home. Our losses have been great. Now that you are now that you are here, the tide will return. Will turn. What is this place? These are the fields where Pentil grows all of its food, or it was until the rogues swept in from the north and blocked the city gates. Now it is a ruin a ruin, eagerly awaiting the wisdom of shapers to set it right. Hmm. Tell me about Pentil. It is one of the mightiest servile set of it is the mightiest servile sediment, settlement. We are the only ones who have remembered you and stayed true to our duty. Oh man, I'm stumbling a bit. 
Where are all the rogues from? The warriors shake their heads. We don't know. Once, Susha Island was peaceful and prosperous. A few years ago, the rogues started to come, and they kept coming, more and more. Now they come in hordes. Oh, okay. That's interesting, actually, because it's been abandoned for quite a long time, it seems. So, hmm. I guess someone only came in recently, then. Chesh stands at attention before you. His warriors watch you with quiet awe. What would you ask of us, Shaper? Um, is this going to be a different one? Or? Okay, it's the same thing. Tell me what you do. I have another question. I am low on supplies and require assistance. Uh, not really. I'm actually pretty okay. Uh, tell me about your troubles. The west gate of Pentil is to the northeast. However, it is blocked. There are many rogues there. It is a defensive position. We aren't strong enough to defeat them. I see. Describe their forces to me. It will sound meager to your ears, Shaper. Perhaps ten thards and a half a dozen artilla. The thards, the thards provide a buffer, while the artilla see any who approach. Yes, I've actually dealt with that. Why do you wait? Why don't you clear the gate? He inspects you, trying to gauge how strong you are. His faith in you is great, but not absolute. We will, Shaper, but not yet. As I said, they are strong. Perhaps we might dislodge them, but it will ruin us. But it will ruin us. A cost we can't afford. Of course, with your help, we could slay the rogues easily. Oh man, I'm sorry about all the stumbles. I thought I'd got a bit better. As a shaper, I command you, attack the gate now. <laughs> uh, you have, you'll have my assistance. I'll be with you. Attack the gate now. You'll have my assistance. You can attack the gate now. My mighty shaper powers will devastate them. Okay, so both of the... I mean, that one's the superiority thing. This is being a shit. Uh, I'll go with this. I mean, I was going to do it myself anyway, so I'm happy to have the assistance. He examines you again. He thinks for a bit. Finally, here, Shaper, I thank you for being so kind. We will attack the gate soon, as soon as our wounds are healed. You aren't holding your breath. They are pitiful and terrified. Oh, well... It's sort of weird, though, because they seem to be so happy to see me and all that stuff, but then it's like he examined you again. It's like, why? You don't trust me, even though you are, you know, just seem a bit conflicting. Uh, I guess I'll just exit that. I don't know if they're going to help. I don't, I'm not going to lie and send them to their deaths. Again, I have no reason to do that, you know. Like, I'm just basically treating these, these as humans. Like, I, I, I have, like, there's just, there's nothing about the way they act to make me distinguish them as something other than human, you know. Like, if they're alive, they're conscious, they have varying personalities, emotions, they can form free trade, um, free trade society type of deals and, you have multiple factions and I mean seriously you know you're just describing humans at that point so you know I don't really have any reason to be a dick <laughs> I'm in a foreign land you know just trying to make my way Pentil Plain from here you see that the west approach to Pentil has been blockaded there is a mob of thards and artillers they sit there patiently waiting servals have tried to break through the crowd before scorched earth and bones show how that story ended Though they are mere creations, and symbol creations at that, even you will have a hard time dealing with this mob. Well, good to know. Let's see if we can pick a couple off. That's, uh, yeah, so this is actually might go okay if we can get a couple of them down. That was just, yeah, we just got such a pile up last time. Um, we good? No? What's going on? Do I just... Okay. I thought maybe, yeah, I thought if you attack them when you're too far away, it just moves as far as it can. Really? Hmm. I guess I was mistaken on that. And that's not a Queen's Wish mix-up, I don't think. I'm just, uh, I don't know. I just was straight up mistaken about that, I guess. I don't know. Could have swore I'd already done that previously, but maybe not. Well, obviously not, I guess, if it didn't work, so. And uh, I think we'll be okay here. And, you know, those guys seem to run off sometimes. I don't know if all of them have a chance of doing that, or if it's sort of, like, similar to the fear thing owls can get, or terrified status. Like, it doesn't show it as that, but they do seem to run away sometimes. Although, actually, in this case, it might be... Because that other one mentioned about some, they sound the alarm, basically. So maybe the running is actually related to that. Like, they're running to try and find others or something. Hmm, not too sure on that. And we should actually utilize food more, shouldn't we? Uh, let's put, um, can we put food here? I feel like we, wow, is that all we had? Hmm, because it's a, it's a cheap, easy heal for us. 
Oh, okay, full. Does that mean... Oh, okay. Um, can we... I don't know how that works. Uh, there's not really anything that indicates our hunger, like... Hmm. Because I assume we can still use... Oh, not on that. Uh, we can use the other things as much as we want, but maybe food's more limited there? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm, it doesn't really matter. It, uh, just wanted to heal us up a little anyway. Okay, can we exit? Yeah, we can. Good, let's try and creep around here. See if we can just uh, get like one of them. Or at least uh, make them spread out, you know, that's, that's fine too. Because I think we've actually knocked them down a decent number. As long as we can uh, we take this guy out, there's only a few more. We should be okay. I say that and suddenly like a million of them will show up. Uh, let's get you down at least. And okay, can we do this cone thing? Okay, not quite. But so if we move three, would that be... Okay, so how does that work? Does that just have like a... Uh, can we use it once every so many turns or... I uh, didn't get to see then. I don't know if it had a cooldown reference or anything. Oh, come on, so close. Uh, I guess we can check on... Oh man. You alright, Larry? Oh god, I just got slapped in the face. And poison for three turns... Yeah, it doesn't say... Okay. Um, how... Alright. So... If we go... Like there... Then I think we can hit... Oh, we can almost hit four of them. If we walk one more, can we... Yeah, nice. That's root. Yeah, that's something. Oh, yeah. That cone thing was definitely worth getting. Oh, okay. It looks like it's a three cooldown. All right. Um, let's take you out. I think that's probably best. And can we get that happening again? That would be... If we can hit uh, all of them, that would be really good. You got four. Oh, I stepped too far. Can we... Oh, alright. Uh, I'll step one back. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah, that, all right, that was lucky. That's uh, that's so good though. That's um, Yeah, that's a game changer. <laughs> okay, maybe we can daze them. Because I think I can hit all of them. So that's a little work, but... Uh, I think this is definitely the kind of stuff we need to pay more attention to. Th those cones attacks though, that was... Uh, Seems crazy we didn't have them previously, because that's so good. I think especially if you can hit like, you know, hitting all that we have left. Um, especially with poison and stuff, like that's really good. And so you've got that again, do you? Alright. Um, go there. And get that. Very nice. I thought there was still one more turn left on that, but... Uh, I guess the turns mean... You know, I didn't think it had been through three. Maybe the cryo is, is only two, or... I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out as we go. There we go. You have shattered the ranks of the rogues. Pentil will be... will easily be able to lift the blockades now. This area has been freed. Oh, okay. That's cool. And we just got an achievement. Novice Explorer. Alright. Um, well, I can't really heal you guys up, but you certainly deserve it. Um, I could use one of them. I just don't think it's worth it, because if we travel into town, I think that'll heal us. But uh, I guess we'll go let these guys know. Might need to have a stern talking to them about not helping us. But I didn't really expect they were going to do so. Not a big deal. I'm a forgiving shaper. <laughs> Sh Chesh stands at attention before you. His warriors watch you with quiet awe. What would you ask of a shaper? Um... Can we not let them know we kicked ass? No? Uh, you are aware that I've already broken the artillery force and cleared the blockade. Chess looks acutely surprised. Oh, I, I admit our scouts have not been very alert. Up, men. We'll now retake the gate. Now you do something. As they prepare to, as they prepare to leave, Chess says, Shaper, if you could spare a great kindness to your lowly servants, could you escort us to the gate? We are weak and we may need protection if more rogues arrive. <laughs> really? Really? You are going to come help me. Now I've cleared it out, and you still want me to walk with you. Hey, hey, hey. 
the things I do for these random servals. It's all right. I said, I'm not a dick. <laughs> I'm just playing it as I go, doing what I want. That's, that's pretty much the attitude I'm taking with it. Uh, I'll have to go take a look in there, but we'll guide them to safety. Why not? Enjoy. Goodbye. Hope you don't die. Which sounded a little bit more sarcastic than intended. <laughs> now let's go grab these. There we go. Oh, hello, shielding band. There's uh, some irony in my statement from previously now. Uh, can you go in junk because it looks shiny. It's a good as reason as any. Yeah, I guess, uh, guess we have one of those to sell now, which sucks because the value coming back isn't very good. Ah, that is disappointing actually. Like I figured with us not getting a ton of stuff, even if we found a ring, we probably wouldn't find one of them immediately, but... Uh, it's also one of the few games I can think of where you can't use two rings. It's like almost always that you can. Hmm, so that's disappointing. No matter though. Alright, another ransacked place. Grab some coins. This was a guard post for the village of Pentu. It was abandoned and then ransacked. It does look that way. And that was not overly worth it, but no matter. We still have 10 living living tools, so not a big deal. And yes, we can uh, head to Pentil, I do believe. Finally. It's been, uh, it's been quite the journey to get here. Hopefully these guys can have a well-deserved heal. Yes, and Pixie. Find Pixie and meet the Obeyers. And yes, yeah, so I guess um, they should be pretty friend friendly to us, I guess. Like, this is... um. It's going to be interesting, like, we'll be able to actually see the Obeyers properly, see their leaders, see how they actually act towards us and all that stuff. Oh, earned medal and achievement, yes. I guess the medals match up to achievements, the obedient. Alright, is that, uh... Oh, I guess we come through there, right. Alright, we're at Pentil. Oof. I, uh, I think we'll leave it there, because, um, if it's anything like Vakiri, we'll probably end up spending, like, the whole next episode here going through all the texts and everything and yeah it can definitely rack up more time than I realized like in the demo uh in the city so I think the next episode is probably going to be dedicated to pen 2. It would get way too long if we started digging into it now but uh it's good to be here we finished our little journey um it took a lot longer than I expected to get through there but um you know I will say I, I really am still enjoying this which I'm happy about I wasn't sure if I'd get a bit more into it and it would drop off a little bit. No, I'm really enjoying myself. Um, I'm also enjoying that, you know, there's definitely a fair chunk of time you spend doing just exploring combat um, where there really isn't a ton of text, but it still feels really meaty um, in terms of lore and when you're actually talking to people and it's just a really good balance. Like, I really like how it's set up. Um, I, I quite like the way this just all connects together. Um, compared to say how um, Avernum does it, where you've got sort of the overworld you walk in. Like I really like the Avernum too, but I'm, I'm liking this. It feels a bit more, I don't know, up close and personal it or something. I'm, I'm not sure how best to put it, but uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, really liking it. And uh, looking forward to continuing. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be a long series. I mean, uh, I think it's quoted like on the Steam page at least as being 50 plus hours. So, oh man, it's a, uh, I mean, because we've already we've got like four other places here open up that we to go. And I assume it's going to span all the way along to here. I assume that this may be actually where we can get a boat. And yeah, you got bridges to... Oh, it's going to be... Could be, uh, yeah. Oh, and is that there? I didn't notice that. That looks like a... That looks like an entrance to somewhere. Oh, there's another one there. I missed that. Yeah, so there's quite a bit going on around here, it seems. And... You've got sort of the, just the interesting lore and everything that's going on between these uh, different groups, but then also there's clearly some other stuff going on. There's obviously, you know, why was it abandoned in the first place? Um, yeah, there's really a lot. Okay, I guess we'll read this part. You went to the village of Pentil. Once, this was a large shaper fort, probably the administrative center. Now the serviles are nestled in its ruins. As you enter, the effect on the serviles is dramatic. They stare at you in awe. Considering how independent the serviles in Vakiri were, the change is remarkable. Some of the serviles fall to their knees. Okay, so they, yeah, definitely are a reaction then. One of the guards walks up to you, staring at the ground and shuffling his feet. Shaper, welcome to Pentil. 
In the name of the Abeyas, we welcome you. We are grateful that you have returned to rule and guide us at last. Oh, wow, rule. Okay. He shuffles back to his post, not daring to look directly at you. When you meet the gaze of these meek creatures, they look away. For once, the servos are acting like you expect. Okay. Hmm, interesting stuff. Yeah, but anyway, going to end it here before it gets any longer. So, uh, once again, if you made it through, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, I've still been sort of playing around trying to get the sound balance right. Because I don't know if it's... Uh, it, it's less noticeable, I would say, actually playing. But the sound balance is still quite off with the background and everything else. And especially when it comes to looking at the recording, it's like... By default, without any changes, the sounds of, like, their breath, breath attacks and stuff they're like they're crazy loud they match like on the decibel scale thing they get close up to my voice range or even higher whereas you've got like the background music at the same time just barely registering on it or just popping up a little so i have been sort of compressing it and trying to balance it out but um let me know how that has felt or um if you have any suggestions about that or anything else and uh yeah, I think that's about it. I'll be uh, picking this back up tomorrow. Gonna, I guess I'll quickly edit this and get it rendering before I go to bed so I can get it uploading in the morning. And, uh, well, yeah, I'm actually, you yeah, know, it'll probably take too long to render. Uh, but anyway, I uh, hope you have a good day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.